I used to work, but I can't work anymore with Huntington's disease. I was actually worried that I couldn't volunteer because of Huntington's disease because I, I fall over and I spill cups of teas and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I thought, you know, I might actually be a hindrance. I might hurt elderly people. But actually, you know, I, I surprised myself. I was able to, I was able to actually help out a lot. Don't disregard volunteering and just think that's a bunch of do-gooders that are going out and doing something. I don't fit that criteria because there's something out there for everybody. Um, there's opportunities for, for everyone to get involved. It's life-changing, it's empowering. Um, and the lives that you touch on the other side of volunteering, the people that you'll never get to meet, know or understand the difference you've made, just knowing that is, is amazing. For me personally, I don't have one role because I do so many different things, but um, I think that's part of the value of volunteering is that even if you don't actually do this particular thing, you get a chance to try it out, if that makes sense. Do you see what I'm saying? So things like that, again, I think add to the value of volunteering, the kind of range of different things you can try, and you never know something you might actually try once, might be something you do for the rest of your life. So. You really can't put a sort of age, a face, um, a sort of background to the types of volunteers that we, we certainly see, the types of volunteers that I now manage. Um, it can be uh, age ranges, you know, from 18 up to, I think on my particular project, I have uh, some volunteers who are in their in late 80s. Um, uh, for, like I said, from all different backgrounds, all different nationalities. When we get a registration form and we call the new volunteers, the first thing we always ask them is, tell us a little bit about yourself. So if, for example, they say, oh, in my previous life I loved music or dancing or I love to go to the theatre, so then we would look at maybe the roles we have and marry up. Um, and so we have volunteers who maybe have done IT in the past and maybe try and find them a little volunteering role where they can use those IT skills. A lot of organisations have something for all different types of volunteers. You don't have to be full-time like me. You just do a specific thing that's your passion that you really like or that your skill you want to learn and share or you've got something you want to share or whatever it might be or sitting on the board of a, a charity or an organisation. All of those are useful for volunteers. It really depends. There's no one thing. It depends what the person wants. Well, you need to find out what the volunteer wants. But there's something out there for anybody who wants to volunteer.